people that see it firsthand on what happens to our community, because a lot of the fracking and the oil fields are out there. Um, I want to say um, to the BLM and all of you guys here taking um, listening to us, um, a lot of our people out there, we still haul water. We have springs that my people, they drink, they bathe in, they cook their food with. We have ponds out there that are livestock, our horses, our sheep, our cows, they drink out of that. A lot of us people out there, we still grow crops, squash, corn, etc. And a lot of us people, we still live the lifestyle of um, living off of the land. And with that being said, I want to explain to you guys, me, I, I would say I'm traditional and I, you know, listen to our culture. Me, as a Navajo person, the way I feel about this fracking, the way I feel about this oil field, I'm going to take myself as an example. They're drilling out of our land. Shit. D.A. Shema, Mother Earth, Father Sky, Corn Pollen, Tanti, that's, we pray to that. Tok, we use that, we pray with that. And you guys fracking, I'm going to use myself again as an example. You guys, would I allow you guys to take blood out of my body? Would I allow you guys to keep taking, taking, taking? That's what you guys are doing to Mother Earth. Blood my blood and my body, that's how I feel about Mother Earth and the oil that's in her. And if I were to allow you guys to keep taking blood out of my body, I wouldn't have all this hair. I wouldn't be able to see. I wouldn't be able to talk, hear, taste, listen. And that's what you guys are doing to our land out here. Like I said, our people, we still grow crops out here. We still gather medicine up on the hills, the mesas from where I live. Shanella A, she lives two and a half miles away from me and she can't grow corn out there no more. And she used to walk three miles to get her medicine. And then they have a rig sitting right on top of where her medicine, where she used to get it. And that hurts me. That really, really hurts me. And a lot of you people here, you guys have kids. You guys have parents. You guys have your grandparents. And I want to ask you guys this question. Would you guys allow a rig to drill right behind your parents' house?